Today, we are doing El Anao Katsu Chicken and Macaroni Salad, but today, we're gonna see who actually takes the L. All right, guys, so today we are doing LNO katsu chicken and macaroni salad, which for a while has been one of my favorites from there. I do like LNO a little, you know, it's a great place to go after school with friends for a hang, or it's a great place after since I perform and stuff to go get some nice food after a performance. They give you a lot and it's really cheap, but sometimes you just want better. And I think I can make it better. But before we do that, let's go get some LNO. All right, so we are on the way to go get the katsu chicken and macaroni salad from l, l. So for me, I like l, l because it's been like my comfort food for a while. Like after a gig or after a nice concert, I like to have something that's hot, something that's cheap. That's not really. You know? Yeah, something that's really good. So here we are, we're pulling up to the building. So I'll go ahead and start giving it my review. All right. All right. The building, I mean, it's just, built in to this little thing over here. It doesn't look so bad. Okay, I'll give it, I'll give it a, looks pretty cozy, you know, pretty nostalgic. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Can I get the katsu chicken with the macaroni salad? Uh, I'll do rice too. And that's it. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, guys, we just got the bag, and now we're going to go home, and we're going to try it. And this is me realizing I forgot to rate the menu and the service. Oops. I'm adding this video clip in right now uh, as I edit. Just realizing that I forgot to rate the menu, and I forgot to rate the service at l, &L. I don't know how I forgot, but the menu... They have a pretty large menu and there's a lot of good options, a lot of options that are better than the katsu chicken and macaroni salad. But besides that, I'd give the menu a solid 8.5 out of 10. And when it comes to the service, we got like the sweetest lady there probably. I, I give the service a 10 out of 10. But you know you can't just go to a restaurant for the service. So let's try the food. All right, I'm now back at home with the katsu chicken. And I guess I just have to try it. I've had this a bunch of times, but I still have to make this video. You know, this is one of the better times I've had it. I would say it's just a little bit plain though. I'm gonna try it with the sauce, which I'm not making today, but. Yeah, that makes it a little better, but the chicken is still pretty plain. I'm now gonna try the macaroni salad, which I've never really liked from here, but I have to try it again. No. No. I don't like it. It's just, something's off in the mix. I really don't, I'm just never been a fan. All right, now we gotta make it. All right, so first off, we're doing the macaroni salad in which I start prepping the pot, then I start washing my vegetables. Don't forget to do that, please. And then I start peeling the carrots in which I'm gonna be left with these carrot strips, which I'm able to chop up into these little pieces that will add some color and some flavor. Next, I start prepping my onion in which I cut both ends off. And then I start peeling off the first layer just to be safe. And then pretty much from here, you dice it however you want. However you normally dice onions, get them, just get them small. These will add a lot of flavor to your salad. Next, I start prepping my macaroni. Hopefully you won't have a few stragglers like I did. Don't forget to salt your pasta water and then drain it once it's done. And while it's still hot, go ahead and pour it in a bowl. And then you mix in your carrots and your red onions. And then I added two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is just for a little bit of extra flavor. And then mix it once again while it's all still hot until it's pretty mixed well. 
Next, I use some QP mayonnaise, which is a little bit richer than regular mayonnaise as it's made of egg yolk rather than the egg yolk and white. In a separate bowl, I went ahead and filled it up with one whole bottle of the QP mayonnaise, along with a little bit of another. Then, a quarter cup of milk, two teaspoons of sugar, and you just whisk this all together until it gets super creamy. And then, just mix it in. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold it in. And then, once you're done, this just goes in the fridge. For 4 hours, or up to overnight. And then you have your creamy, golden, flavorful macaroni salad. And now, let's make the chicken. For this, I'm using chicken thighs as the darker meat is usually more tender and juicier. What I do is I grab some plastic wrap, I wrap it around the end of my cutting board, then you're going to want to lay your chicken down on the plastic wrap and wrap it around in plastic wrap, and then you're going to want to beat your chicken without making any R-rated jokes hopefully. The point of even doing this to your chicken at the first place is just to make sure that it's all tender. I don't know the science. I'm not a scientist. But maybe just take my word for it. Now once you have all your chicken, nice and tender, I salted mine with a little garlic salt rather than just regular salt. Just to add a little bit more flavor, which L and L kind of lacks, and some pepper. You're going to want to do this to both sides of your chicken. And then once you're done, you set up your fry station, which is just flour, egg wash, and panko breadcrumbs. You start filling my pot with oil, no more than an inch, and then once you get to about 350 degrees, you're ready to go. So first, you go in the flour, making sure you leave no dry spots. Then you go into egg wash, make sure to drip all the excess once you're done. Dip it in the breadcrumbs, coat all of it in the breadcrumbs, and then throw in your oil, and you're gonna wanna let it cook for three to six minutes on each side until you get this nice golden brown color. Obviously flip it once you're halfway through. And then take it off and drain it on some paper towels until you have this nice golden crispy chicken. And now let's assemble our plate. Now I also made some rice to go with this, which I hopefully don't have to explain to you guys how to use a rice cooker. If you don't know, just look it up. Anyways, grab some rice, grab some nice golden creamy macaroni salad. And now it's time to top this king of a plate with our golden, crispy, tender, juicy, I have no other words, just this beautiful chicken that we've created. And now I think we're ready to destroy LNL. All right, now the time for the ultimate test. I'm here with my cousin, Nevea, who will be my taste tester today, who is obviously blindfolded. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you something and you just have, you just have to tell me which one is better out of both of them, all right? Okay, let's go with the salad. So here is the first one. Okay. Open, here comes the train. <laughs> Don't make me open. Yeah, open more. <laughs> <laughs> and now, here's the second one. I'll get you a much smaller bite this time. All right, this should be good. Open wide. I already know which one's better. Which one? That one. All right. Cool. That Next. One was way better. It has more, yeah? It has more flavor. Like, it's like when you bite into it, it's just flavor. You know? <laughs> the other one, no. Thank you. All right, I'm warning you now the chicken's gonna be pretty big bites. Why? Because that's just how they are. Here, here's chicken number one. Oh. Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this scared me. Okay. 
Chicken one, chicken one. Okay, All right, and now here's chicken number two. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Three. <laughs> This is like, this is like chicken tenders from Burger King. <laughs> wow! So you like the first one better? Ever, yeah. Cool. Well, it looks like I beat them twice. <laughs> it was yours? Yeah, the second macaroni salad you tried was mine. The first chicken you tried was mine. Yeah, then one. Thank you guys so much for watching this challenge. As you can see, LNL got absolutely smashed, which makes me the winner of this But Better video. I'd like to thank Joshua Wiseman for being such a huge inspiration to me. I love his content so much. This video has been a lot of fun to make. Thank you once again for watching and have a great rest of your day.